of the countries where there are maximum number of diabetic people. And the number of caesarean sections are increasing. The rate has come to almost 40% to 50% in some sectors, in private sectors especially. The main reason for this is lack of exercise. So dear friends, do exercise regularly during pregnancy and after delivery. These exercises will not harm you or your baby in any way. Is exercise needed uh, during pregnancy, doctor? Uh, yes. See, when you go for a running race, a 100 meter race, will you go without a rehearsal or a practice? You don't, right? Similarly, pregnancy and delivery, see pregnancy is a 10 months duration condition and delivery, 10 hours will be needed for the laboring women to deliver. In this time, the woman needs a lot of strength and stamina. This will be obtained only if you have regular exercises. So pregnancy exercises are a must. And remember, pregnancy is not a fragile condition. It doesn't get affected by the exercises. Uh, does exercise guarantee normal delivery, doctor? That's a good question. See, normal delivery depends upon so many factors. It depends upon the size of the baby, the position of the baby, the fluid around the baby, and the mother's pelvis size. But if all the other factors are favorable, exercise definitely makes the delivery very easy. And the chances for normal delivery are more, but it does not guarantee a normal delivery. Doctor, many of the women are worried uh, that uh, exercises might uh, cause uh, abortions. Is it true? Uh, definitely not. We definitely need exercises. Now, the working women or women at home, they don't do much of physical activity. In those days, when women were doing all the household work, it was exercise combined with the daily routine. Now, physical activity has reduced, so we are promoting exercises. And see, if because of exercises, abortion is to happen, imagine the manual laborers. How many of them work on the fields? How many of them take carry loads, climb up stairs? We have seen on the building site how many pregnant women work till delivery. So definitely the exercise will not produce abortion. The exercise has lot of benefits. Uh, doctor, can you explain the benefits of the exercises? Definitely, yes. See, first and foremost, it makes you physically fit. Okay. See. Uh, when you move all parts of the body, the muscle contracts, stretches and then relaxes. In which case, it becomes more functional than when it is idle. Okay? So it gives you physical fitness. Number two, the joints become more flexible. And when you breathe, when you, when you do exercise, you breathe a lot, right? When you breathe a lot, your blood gets better oxygenated. So you get a better oxygenated blood your baby gets a better oxygenated blood and the endurance, the ability to endure stress will be more when you do exercise. And also mentally you feel very fresh after an exercise. See, supposing when you feel very dull, if you just go for a walk and come back, you feel very nice, isn't it? So exercise has a lot of benefits and it should be, and it prevents overweight. Okay, nowadays overweight Diabetes is a major problem in India and these two conditions can be tackled by regular exercises. At what time uh, can we do all these exercises, doctor? Many women think that they should do only exercise in the morning. As a result, what happens when they are busy in the morning? Uh, they may not have time to do exercises. Then they say, oh, this morning is over, I didn't have time, so I'm not going to do exercise any uh, this day. It should not be like that. You can do exercise when your stomach is empty. It can be early in the morning or it can be around 11 o'clock in the morning or it can be around 4 o'clock or even 6 o'clock. Don't do it when it is very hot. Don't do it when you are in full stomach. Supposing you had your breakfast around 8 o'clock, you can definitely do exercise around 11 o'clock. That is between your breakfast and lunch. A light different coffee before exercise is okay. That is not harmful. Okay, so just don't give exercise uh, excuses because this morning I could not do, so I'm not going to do hereafter. So any time of the day 
when your stomach is empty you can do we usually don't advise you to do exercise after 8 o'clock in the night mainly because if you do after 8 o'clock you might feel very fresh you may not feel sleepy so don't do any vigorous exercise after 8 o'clock in the night the precautions to be taken you should know very very clearly first and foremost your dress should be suitable for an exercise you can't wear a sari and do an exercise you can't wear a nighty and do an exercise wear a track suit t-shirt pajama kurta or shorts banyan whatever but don't uh, do exercises with saris okay that is number one second thing always do exercises when somebody is around in case you feel tired you feel giddy somebody should be there to help you and the floor should not be very slippery okay you use a mat mats are available exercise mats are available you can use a mat the room should be a well ventilated room okay and the hydration that is you should have had enough fluids okay if you have not taken before at least after the exercises you should have enough fluids and don't do when you are in full stomach okay and you should not do when you are sick these are the precautions and there are certain conditions when we don't advise exercises okay one is like when the woman has had repeated abortions we don't want that woman to do exercises like how we teach here she can just do simple walking and the other thing is if the woman has had a preterm labor that is if she has delivered her baby much before her due date in the last pregnancy say around 7th month or 8th month that woman we don't advise exercise and in the first scan when the doctor has told you that the placenta is a little lower and you have had a little bleeding then don't do exercises when your uterus is over distended maybe because of increased amount of fluid or because of twins then don't do exercises okay but even these women need not be taking bed rest all the time they can move around in the house okay they should not squat and they should take some precaution like they should not do any fast movement but definitely these women also need not lie down in the bed all the time how long we do exercise per day doctor and uh, when to st- stop these exercises see in a day you have to do for about 30 minutes to 40 minutes that's minimum but you can do up to 1 hour also but all that you don't have to do it at the same time you can split it like morning you can do for 10 to 15 minutes then evening you can do for 10 to 15 minutes like that you can split and do and when to stop that definitely you should know see when you are doing exercise okay you feel giddy or you have some cramps in the abdomen or you feel like fainting please stop your body will tell you when to stop you should listen to your body okay and you can do it till delivery also okay but supposing you have lot of difficulties you develop uh, bp in the later stages of pregnancy or you have any problem like leaking of uh, the fluid from the vagina in these conditions again you should stop okay so remember when you are not feeling okay you should stop and nearing delivery if there is bp or draining of fluid you should stop doing exercises uh, what are the exercises we should do doctor see the exercises that we normally advocate any exercise for that matter should start with the warm up exercise okay the principle of warm up exercises is you just make the body more flexible and fit enough to go to the next step this is something like starting the car in the first gear when you start a car you don't start in the second gear or third gear and run fast right you should start slowly the slow exercises before the uh, little uh, difficult exercises are this warming up exercises this is essentially moving all parts of the body in all directions that's warming up then stretching exercises are available these warming up exercises they do not reduce weight they do not make you breathe better they are just relaxing all the muscles okay the stretching exercises will tone up the muscles these exercises 
will also help to some extent in reduction and these exercises will help you to relieve pain in the joints that you are in whatever group of muscles you are contracting those joints will become less painful and the third type of exercise is called the aerobics in aerobics you do a little faster okay uh, faster movements and it is like something like dancing okay that is aerobics and then finally just like if you did warm up you should cool down that is again when you are going in the fourth year you will not put a sudden break right you will gradually reduce the speed of the car and then only stop like that you should cool down and then stop doctor what are the position in which uh, uh, the exercise we can do you can do it in the standing posture you can do it in the sitting posture and in the lying down posture in during pregnancy you should not use completely dorsal position like you know completely lying on your back you should not do for a long time and definitely you will not do any exercise in the prone position and this standing sitting and lying down postures you keep alternating so that even sitting down and getting up is an exercise so it will be a combined one doctor can we do aerobics during pregnancy and uh, do we need a trainer to do all these exercises aerobics can be done during pregnancy it should be a low impact aerobics okay aerobics is like doing a little faster movements but in aerobics in pregnancy you don't do the jumping movements okay no jumping no fast uh, movements also not it should not do very fast movements slow rhythmic movements you can always do and uh, physical trainer if you have that is good okay but if you don't learn from them once or twice and then start doing at home but at least once or twice you should have a guide okay that is better we'll start the exercises now we'll start with warm up exercises while standing for demonstration purposes we will be doing for a shorter duration say up to eight counts or three times like that but when you do you start with the lower count and keep increasing for example on the spot walking left right left right left right 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 after every exercise you come down to normal position and then do the next exercise now we'll go for head bending and rotation left right left right left right then we'll go for head rotation forward rotation left right left right left right then we'll go for backward rotation this if you are not able to bend fully backwards it's okay okay then we'll go for sideward bending this okay left right you can do it as much as you can like the bending i am saying if you are not able to bend too low it doesn't matter you just bend a little that is sufficient if you are able to bend fully down that's good then we'll go for shoulder press 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 now if you see he will demonstrate how to breathe in and breathe out during exercise
the principle is like when your chest is expanding and when it is a relatively resting position you breathe in when you when your chest gets compressed or narrowed it is breathe out for example say in this shoulder press exercises when your chest is expanding you breathe in when it is compressing breathe out breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out okay then we'll go for semi squatting okay this you will have to bend at your knees you keep your legs wide when you are doing this exercises when you keep it close you might fall your balance will be lost okay bend your legs then okay breathe out breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out breathe in okay then pelvic rock this is called this is just hip rotation okay this is your hip rotation this is warming up for the hip muscles you have done for the uh, knee muscles then it is for hip muscles okay do it 3 to 5 times then keep increasing every time okay then we'll go for on the spot walk 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 now we'll go for forward bending and then moving your part of the body to the right and left left right left right breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out okay this exercise and again this on the spot walking you keep doing repeatedly okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 this you can do even this way okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 instead of standing on the way you can do this way also 1 2 just make it a little dancing movements now we'll see the exercise that we can do while sitting when you sit don't bend forward like this okay fold your knees and then okay sit with your hand support now after sitting stretch your legs as much as you can on either side now we'll start doing the sitting exercises okay you sit comfortably with your legs wide apart how much wide you can keep you decide according to your convenience and then now with both your hands you should try to touch the toes some people may be able to do it some people may not be able to do it it is okay okay just left right left right left right left right as i said if you are able to reach only up to this level especially when you are full term pregnant say around the 9th month you will not be able to touch your toes and when you are very fat also you will not be able to touch your toes it's okay you can stop just make an attempt to touch the toes then you can do the butterfly exercises you keep your legs like this okay then hold your inner part of the thigh you can either hold it here or you can keep your hands on the floor or you can hold it here okay just do like a butterfly okay this you can do again the number of times you do you keep increasing every day do it say about 8 times initially make it 16 times 30 times like that okay this is butterfly exercises and this also the extent to which you do this again you can decide they can depending upon your uh, term of pregnancy early months you may be able to do it very well later months you may just be able to do this that is fine then we'll see what is called as cat and camel exercise this cat and camel exercise is very good for back pain okay when you have back pain you do this exercise 
please remember this exercise will not hurt your baby you can definitely stand uh, sit in this uh, i don't know you don't call it sit right this is like cat and camel position on all your fours okay this is like a cat okay your tummy will protrude forward there will be a curve at the back then the curve should go up this is camel cat camel cat camel do it slowly cat camel cat camel do about 8 to 10 times every day now we'll start doing some exercises when we are lying down before that you should know how to lie down when you lie down first sit okay then after sitting use your hands for support okay then lie down okay how you should not lie down supposing you are sitting like this don't lie down immediately like this similarly when you get up turn to your sides support with your hands and then get up okay this lying down exercises which i am telling you i am doing it in the dorsal position lying down in the dorsal position like with your face up for a few minutes does not harm the baby but you should not lie down in this posture for long time now for about 5 to 10 minutes if you lie down in this posture nothing will happen okay now lie down comfortably lie down on your back like this and then lift your shoulder and head up please don't bend like this okay don't bend your head lift up your shoulder and head look at the ceiling and then lift up 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 when you do this the upper abdomen doesn't get contract so it will not cause any harm to the baby it's only the upper part of the chest that gets lifted and then when you uh, lie down and lift up your head your head face should be seeing the ceiling okay not your legs then the next exercise you try to touch your knees okay left right 1 2 3 like this then with lying down posture you can do the butterfly exercises okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 now again we'll go back to exercises while standing now we'll see some stretching exercises while standing and sitting posture at the end in the lying down posture also we'll do some exercises this is second set of exercises that you will see these stretching exercises you can do any time even when your tummy is full you can do these stretching exercises you can do it either at home or in the office Okay, when you have a partner, you can use their services. Supposing nobody is around to help you this way, you can stretch on a wall. Okay, now we will see the partner. You hold your part, hold on to your partner, stretch your whole body forward, then come back. Do it slowly. Okay, the person standing on the opposite side should be strong. supposing he is not strong enough you can use a wall okay you can wall you can just hold on to the wall like that and then do it then this exercise with your one leg up okay use the other hand to have a support okay this position you should maintain for at least 10 seconds say count up to 10 opposite side one 
8, 9, 10. Like this, you have to do 5 to 10 times. Then, squatting, semi squatting position. Okay. Hold on to your partner. Semi squat. Okay. The semi squatting posture is very important for people considering normal delivery. Okay. This is semi squatting. Semi is half. You can do even full squatting like that. Okay. As I said, the person holding you should be very strong. If not, you can use some, uh, say something like a pillar or some strong post. Hold on to it and then sit. Then get up. Definitely you need help while getting up. Then we'll do some exercises while sitting. This exercises you can either sit like this or sit like this. Whichever way is convenient. This is actually more comfortable when you consider forward stretching like this. Okay. Forward stretching. Okay. Hold on to this position for a few seconds. Say count up to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then back side. Hold on like this at the back also. Okay. Then count 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then do this 3 to 5 times. I have done only once. You do it 3 to 5 times. Then with your hands in front of your body. Okay. It is not like this. It is in front of your body with elbow straight and supported by the other hand. Okay. You hold on to this. Press with your right hand and count 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. Then come back to normal position. Then do with the other hand. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. When you do like this, your hand muscles and shoulder muscles will get stretched nicely. Then with your hands up. Okay. When you do like this, you should press with this hand and resist with this hand. Okay. I'm not just holding simply. Okay. I'm giving pressure. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then come back to normal because if you hold it long time in this position, you may feel giddy. Come back to normal, then do with the other hand. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. Come back to normal. This sort of stretching exercises you can do even when you are in full stomach while watching TV, while you are in the office. Okay. This doesn't need a particular time. These stretching exercises will relieve a lot of pain over your shoulder and hands. Now we will see some exercises while lying down. As I said, when you lie down, turn to your sides, use a hand support, then lie down. Okay. These lying down exercises, you can either do it this way or you can do it this way also. Okay. Lie down comfortably, then keep your legs straight, lift up your leg. Okay. This again as much as you can. If you are able to lift up only up to this, this level, it's okay, fine. Supposing you are able to lift up up to this level, that is also fine. Okay. Do it according to your convenience. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. The number of times you do depends upon your capacity. If you are a person who had been very lazy, had not been doing any exercises, start with 5 counts, keep increasing gradually. If you are already a fit and fine person doing exercise every day, straight away you can start doing for about 10 to 15 times also. Then 
forward 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 this you can do like this also 1 2 3 like this is bending at the knees okay before this I did not bend at the knees this exercise also you can do this when you lift up like this the lateral part of the thigh muscles will tone up nicely when you turn forward the front muscles front thigh muscles will get strengthened when you do like this your buttocks muscles and the back thigh muscles will get stronger then for the medial part you lift up this leg okay the opposite leg again do it one two three four five six seven eight again this leg in this posture he can do this exercises one two three four five six seven eight eight seven six five four three two one okay do this when you do this initially you will have pain so first day when you do don't do for a very long time maybe stop with eight counts the next day increase accounts okay then turn to the opposite side okay because both the legs you have to do that now we will start doing the exercises on the opposite leg okay similar exercises you have to do for this leg also now again lift up how much you lift up depends upon your capacity to do okay lift up up to 10 times like this then forward okay without bending your knees do this then with bending your knees okay do like this then this leg lift up 10 times as I said you can either lie down fully or you can keep your hand like this and then support your head okay do this 10 times then again this movement forward and backward this leg exercises are very good for sciatic nerve pain there is a condition called sciatica there is a big nerve coming out of the vertebral column going into your thighs sometimes this nerve gets compressed at this vertebral column level and produces shooting pain many people suffer with this pain during pregnancy these exercises will help you to reduce the sciatic nerve pain now we'll start start doing some exercises with instruments this is optional if you do it that will be good this is especially good for people who have higher weight gain okay uh, say to begin with itself they are already obese means this is a good exercise to some extent it will limit the increase in weight during the pregnancy okay you can use this dumbbells these are available in sports shops if you don't have just get one liter of water bottle filled with water then use on either hand okay you can either use on both hands or just use one hand at a time one two three four five six seven 
eight. Okay, even this sort of exercises, weight bearing exercises, you can do while you are in your office. Not with this, maybe with the water bottle filled with water. Then you can use on your sides. One, two. This again, one hand. If you are not able to lift both hands at a time, do one hand at a time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can do in various postures. You can use for forward. You can use like this, but limit according to your capacity. If you find it too stressful, just stop it. Okay. Then now we'll see some exercises with the rope. This again, these ropes are available in sports shops. If you don't get them, you can use even a old cycle tube. Okay. Keep uh, get this under your feet, then lift up. Okay, this will strengthen your hand muscles very well. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is forward pulling. Then you can pull on your sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you can do it, good. If you cannot, doesn't matter. Then with your partner or if you don't have a partner at that time, what you do, you can put this in a window pan and then you can use this. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, Standing exercises are over. In this set with the instruments, we'll do the sitting exercises with the ball. This is called a Swiss ball. Okay, the Swiss ball is again available in all the uh, sports shops. You just sit on this. When you do this, you always have somebody behind you, your partner or somebody. Okay, you can sit like this. Okay. In case you fall down, somebody should be able to catch. Do this movement. Okay. This moment, keep your legs widely separated. Come forward a little, then go back. Come forward a little. This is again helpful for people who are trying to deliver normally. Okay, Do this as much as you can. This ball also can be used in so many other ways. But this one exercise, if you do with the ball, that is good. Otherwise, you can, what you can do, you can just keep it on the wall. This Okay. Then this exercises. The semi squatting exercises also can be done with the ball. Okay, you will have a good support at the back. Then we'll do some exercises while lying down in this set. This exercises that I am going to tell you is called a Kegel's exercise. This Kegel is the name of the person who described these exercises. These exercises when you do, nobody will know that you are doing the exercises. What does this exercise do? This exercise strengthen your muscles around the vagina and the anus, your birth passage. Okay, Those muscles, if they are weak, what happens when you sneeze, cough or laugh, you start leaking urine. This is called stress incontinence. This happens during pregnancy and post delivery. To prevent that, 
this exercise should be done this should be done like as if this can be done actually in the sitting posture standing posture and lying down okay what you have to do you have to do as if you are trying to control urination supposing you feel like passing urine due to some reason you are not able to pass what you will do you will hold those muscles tightly like that you have to hold your muscles tightly and then count it that has to be say 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 then leave it loose you have to hold your urine try to prevent urination okay if you don't understand that what you can do lie down like this when you lie down keep a pillow in between your knees and then tries to press on it One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then relax. Again, press. Keep it for some time. Then relax. Press. Keep it like this for some time. Then relax. You can do this even when you are sitting in a chair. this exercise you can do as many times as possible this is very important post delivery we saw warming up exercises in the standing posture sitting posture lying down posture we saw stretching exercises in the standing posture sitting posture and lying down and we saw in exercises with instruments now the third most important exercise is this aerobics is aerobics the movement should be a little faster you will have a little heavy breathing during pregnancy you do low impact uh, aerobics aerobics is nothing but just dancing to some music you switch on some music the song you choose it it can depend upon your capacity to dance okay whichever way you want you lift up your leg okay bend forward then cooling down exercises just as i said before you don't put a break when the car is going at fourth gear okay you slow down so once after doing the aerobics you will be breathing heavily you will be sweating okay don't go to rest immediately okay after that also you do a little walking okay on the spot walking then little this warm warm up exercises whatever you do you do them at a very slow pace okay when you are finishing the exercises okay do this after the cooling down exercises you either lie down or sit like this comfortably for 5 minutes let your heart beat come down to normal let your breathing come down to normal then resume your activities whatever it may be okay if you don't take that 5 minutes rest you will feel tired the uh, exercise effect will continue so just take rest for 5 minutes after that drink something and then resume your activities after delivery you have to do exercises for your abdomen and back you have to do all the exercises that we have taught you during pregnancy if you concentrate on the weight bearing exercises you will reduce weight to your previous pre pregnant level instead of these weights you can hold your baby lift up the baby up and down that itself is a weight bearing baby will weigh around 3 kg okay that is again a good you should see to it that the baby's head is supported well when you do that the two main concerns after delivery is one is the tummy many of the women have a tummy they look pregnant again okay they want to reduce their tummy you should do exercises to reduce your tummy and the other concern is back pain most of the women if they have delivered normally or by cesarean they will have back pain if they don't do exercises now i'll teach you exercises for your tummy 
you should do these exercises after doing all your exercises that you do in the antenatal period these two exercises are special for tummy reduction this is not advised during pregnancy actually okay lie down now you can lie down as long as you want in this posture okay stretch your legs lift up one leg this you can go up to 90 degrees okay alternatively the number of times you do again depends upon your capacity start with low counts like 10 then keep increasing up to 30 or 40 also okay so first you do with single leg then with both legs together when you lift your both legs together it will be difficult initial period somebody may have to support your legs then keep it down this will reduce your lower tummy okay for to reduce your upper tummy what you should do you should have your hand behind your head and then lift up your upper part of the body nicely again look at the ceiling don't bend your head okay don't bend your head lift up your shoulder okay do this nicely try to lift up you do it again minimum 10 times keep increasing as much as you can this is for tummy reduction there are so many other things if you are a person who is very interested in getting back to original shape you can do a lot of other tummy reduction exercises okay this is the basic exercise that you have to do then to reduce back pain what you should do you should lie down with your face down like this then use your hands like this lift up the upper part of the body okay this will strengthen your back muscles and buttocks muscles okay this will reduce back pain a lot okay then come down again lift up be in this position for some time again come down okay this if it is a normal delivery you can start doing within 15 days if it is a cesarean section you can start doing these exercises after 45 days first that is for the upper part of the back muscles now you can lift up your leg when you lie down like this you cannot lift your leg more than 10 to 15 degrees okay this will strengthen the thigh muscles and the buttocks muscles okay this again do it up to 10 times if possible to do this you can do if not possible that's fine okay this is actually like dhanurasana okay your back muscles will nicely get stretched and all your back pain will go these exercises you start doing 15 days after normal delivery and 45 days after cesarean section even if it is cesarean section please remember these exercises can be done it does not cause any harm to the sutures okay do all the exercises first and then these two exercises extra after delivery during pregnancy before three months you can sleep in any position you want you can sleep with face down face up on your sides any way you like after three months of pregnancy you should not lie down with your face down after five months of pregnancy you should not lie down on your back fully if you lie down for five to ten minutes nothing will happen to your baby you don't worry without your knowledge if you sleep like that at night again nothing will happen you will always turn to your side this way or that way even when you're sleeping when after fifth month what you should do you should always lie down on your sides either left or right if you want to lie down on your back you, you don't like to lie down on your left side or right side for a long time which can be you know sometimes very difficult because your whole hand and the leg will become numb if you lie down for a long time that way in which case what you should do have a pillow use it as a wedge okay use it as a wedge and then lie down okay if you lie down like this you will have the satisfaction of lying down on your back at the same time 
the bad effects of lying down fully on your back will not be there and in the later months of pregnancy sometimes you will not be able to approximate your legs fully in those situations what you should do keep a pillow in between your legs and then sleep and when your tummy is falling too much you know in that case you can use a pillow to support your tummy use as many pillows as you want when there is swelling of the legs use a pillow for your legs keep your legs elevated and while turning while lying down you can turn as such you don't have to get up and then turn okay you can lie down slowly and then turn to your sides opposite side in the same way you don't have to get up and lie down in the later months of pregnancy because your tummy is very big you will feel breathless you will not be able to lie down flat completely like that so in that case use four or five pillows like this make a uh, reclining position and then lie down like this with your upper part of the body this may give you a little comfort okay you may not have so much of breathlessness and again if the leg is swollen you use elevate the leg end also and use a pillow here use a pillow for your between your legs so let us make india a healthy nation let the babies start with a good exercise feeling and let them continue post delivery also i wish you all a safe delivery and a happy motherhood